I'm looking across the internet and I'm like, I need another glue to review for my channel. Something that could probably impress the masses. And I stumbled upon the goat glue. Um, my sister told me about this. She said, all oh, the, the hair Instagrammers are using it. I have not used it at all. And where is, where's my glue? It starts right here. All of this is gone. And it didn't spill in the packaging, I checked everything. They just did not put any glue in here. And I'm really confused as to why 30% of my product is not in the product bottle. Electric chair. <laughs> I mean, did one of the employees start sweating out their wigs? Like, come on, I'm confused. Anyways, today I'm gonna be reviewing the goat glue for you guys. As per usual, I'll be doing a wear test, I'll be doing a sweat test, and I'll be doing a water test. For you guys out there who sweat a lot, I need to see if this glue is gonna work for you guys and your skin. One thing about this glue though, I have to say, is this has latex in it. So please do an allergy test. If you guys are allergic to latex, please do not purchase this glue. You will get an allergic reaction. Um, so this says, prepare your client's hairline with 91% alcohol, which I have. Um, they said to use a primer, but I'm just gonna use my primer that I have. Apply a thin, even coat of this glue to the designated area and let it air dry. Apply a second layer for maximum hold, and once the glue becomes tacky, firmly hold the hair down for 10 seconds. Doesn't say anything about a ball cap, so we're good. Because I wasn't going to do it anyways. <laughs> it says it's waterproof, guys. I did not make it up. Goat glue. So it should be the greatest of all time. And guess what? If it's not, you're going in the trash. You're going in the trash, boo. I'm going to put on my old dandy, trusty, mega look wig. Um, I actually reviewed this as my favorite summer hair. So if you guys are interested in this hair, I'm gonna be tagging it in this little icon, so click on that. I don't know what side it's gonna be on because YouTube tries to play you sometimes when you're in this little box. But I'm gonna be applying this wig like I normally do. I'm gonna really fast forward through this part and then I'm gonna come back when I'm styling the hair. I'm gonna be using 91% alcohol. One thing I like about it so far is that it's clear, but it's so slow, like, oh my god. Alright, and it's very stringy. Looks like this. Ugh. Now I'm going to try and not put this on my hairline because I don't know how potent it is. Guys, it moves so slow, like, oh my god. It's so thick. It's not watery like the other glues I've tried before. I don't know, maybe that makes a difference. Okay, so the thing about this glue is it's clear. So my other glues, they're white, and when they dry, they get clear. So now I'm sitting here like, when is this gonna dry? Cause it's clear and it's gonna dry clear. So how do I really know if it's dry? That's my, that's my dilemma right now. That's what I'm going through, but they said to wait till it's tacky, and I just feel like glue is always tacky. So I'm just gonna give it like five minutes. Let's see if that works. Like, uh, oh, I think it's ready now. Okay, I'm gonna start putting this down and let's see how everything works. <laughs> I don't know if it's the glue or if it's the wig, but that was pretty easy. That was that was pretty easy. And so I have tied this on my head and I think right now is the best opportunity to go on and style the hair. Something I really wanted to try was this. So I just got this from Walmart actually. It's the Bedhead TGI um, Waver. I'm super excited to try this because I've always wanted to do those crimps that everybody's doing. I think it looks so nice, so sophisticated. So let's see if it works in this, with this wig. And let's see if they actually stay. Y'all my- Wow. Oh wow. Um, My scarf was stuck to my lace just now. Oh wow but I'm about to comb it out. It's like leaving the white residue. 
It feels pretty firm though. Feels like it's on there. It's just like now there's like these white spots on there. As I crimped up the hair, it looks really nice. It can really hold curls and anything. I'm really liking it. Um Oh, this looks so good, mom. Sheesh, Jada. Like what? Now all I have to do is put a little bit of makeup on um, the front and I'm not gonna do any baby hairs. I feel like it looks good. And I'm gonna put a little bit of oil because the parts that's white, the oils will like get rid of that. First of all, <laughs> are you guys, like, <laughs> mom, you can't say your girl don't look good. Like, what the heck? So guys, this is a wear test. I am going to be wearing this wig, this glue, trying to see how long it will last. And I'll get back to you guys. Hello my good friends, um, I wanted to, oh my battery is dying, <laughs> nice. I just wanted to give you guys an update, the glue is still looking pretty nice. Um, it's been on for over 24 hours so it's <laughs> melted. So I just wanted to show you guys, I'm actually going to go walking around the track. Yes, I'm going to stay active for the first time in a while. So I'll show you guys how it's looking after I come back and yeah, curls are still there. I'm really loving that heat curler. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm outside. I'm about to go jogging because I want to put this glue to the test. I'm out here with my sister. Y'all know it's real. Like, I don't exercise, but I'm about to be jogging and I want to see if this glue will actually hold up with this sweat test. I've let it cure for over 24 hours. We already know that it's going to wear well, okay? It's been over 24, it, it's stiff, it's on there just like every other glue. I want to get straight into the sweat test because I don't want to waste any time. We need to see if this will hold up. I know you guys are waiting to see if it will hold up with sweat or water. So that's what we're going to do and I'm about to start now. Guys, we're doing hit cardio right now. Um, not sweating as much as you guys know I don't sweat that much but we've been out here for 30 minutes yeah we've been out here for like 30 minutes so I'm drenched I'm, I'm trying to push myself but I'm gonna keep going <laughs> so I'm back inside my room as you guys can see I sweat a little but it wasn't enough to get it off like you know just like a little bit is lifting but guys I'm about to do the Chloe Ting workout challenge let's see if I can sweat this wig off I feel like I can All right, so I'm done with the challenge, and as you guys can see, it's the wig is still on there. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's still there. It's lifting though in the front, but for pretty much for the the most part, it's still on my head. Like, it's still secure. We're good. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep wearing it. I'm gonna tie it down with my scarf like usual. And I'm just gonna keep it pushing each day. I think I'm gonna work out tomorrow again. I'm gonna work out as long as I need to because this is really wear test going into sweat test, if you guys get what I'm saying. I'm really not trying to apply the wig again if y'all get my drift because y'all, as y'all saw from the beginning, it was it was it's a it's a struggle to put it on, but I'm gonna keep it pushing, you know. Hey guys, so today is the next day and I am just making a recording of how my hair looks. So I tied it down when I slept and right now it's on there. It feels like kind of brand new, doesn't feel too bad. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be jogging again today and hopefully it comes off. If it doesn't, I'm going to be working out later anyways. So we will see what happens. Guys, so I just jogged and did some some type of cardio and I feel like my wig is slipping back like it most definitely is you guys tell me it's like when I do this I can feel it moving back but oh well I thought this was the Goku like what's happening greatest of all time
So guys, I'm done with my workout. As you guys can see, my wig looks a little bit pushed back. It's lifting. Um, and I wasn't even sweating intensely, guys, because I don't really sweat that much. But, y'all, it's lifting. Like, yeah. If I sweat really heavily, I don't think this would last. It would have probably came off while I'm running outside. But I am going to work out later tonight again. I think the glue is over time. It's just like weakening. So maybe later it'll like actually come off. But disappointing. Yeah, I'm pushing it to its limit. Okay, something I am realizing right now, guys, my wig is slowly but surely slipping back. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of all the sweating I've been doing or if that's just because the glue is just old and it's giving out. So I've had this wig on for four days now, so it does last, but I have been sweating in this. So it has not come off as yet. And guys, mind you, I don't sweat profusely. I don't sweat that much. I sweat a little bit. Um, but it's not it's sliding back, but it hasn't fully come off I'm so scared that if I go running right now, it's gonna slip off, but I'm gonna do it for you guys I'm gonna go jogging again, and then I'm gonna try and do some workouts when I come back inside So I'll see you guys again It keeps sliding back you guys know when I was applying this I put it in front of my hairline and you can literally see my hairline right here So it is slipping back like look at that my wigs are normally right here. Um, so I think the sweat is really affecting it slowly but surely. Um, but I still have it on. Like it just, it's hanging on. It's, it's literally hanging on. It, it wants to come off, but it's just, it's on there. Which shows it's pretty good. It's like even though I'm sweating, it keeps snapping back. Like snap back game is crazy. You are my ride or die. You are my home skillet biscuit. Your girl is about to play basketball. I worked out last night. Wig did not come off as you guys saw. So today it must. And I'm wearing this because I'm not about to be embarrassed by these guys when my wig starts slipping back. Okay, so I'm going to go play basketball and let's see if this comes off of my head. Literally just finished playing basketball. My wig has declined. It's it's gone. It's literally slipped all the way back. Thank God I wore this. <laughs> I already knew what was gonna happen though. Literally, look at that. It's it's just held down by my thing. And sweat took over and the glue dipped. Yep. So technically this is off. Oh my god! Everything that was holding it down was the headband so that's why it was stuck on but it's really off it slipped all the way back like this is embarrassing <laughs> but guys i'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna go into phase water test so guys i just want to let you know that i removed the wig yesterday because it slipped all the way back and that was just really embarrassing but um now i'm going to be reapplying the wig and i'm going to be using the same goat glue the same glue i still have some left in the bottle Um, so, so far I can honestly say that I really don't like the texture of this glue and how it's like appearing right now because look, right there, you see how it's like all white and it's like stuck, like stiff. It's like white. This doesn't normally happen when I, when I apply my glues, but it's because this glue is um, clear and has latex in it. So when I put it on, as you guys can see, the, even the consistency is really different. It's very sticky and stretchy. And whenever I put it on, it's just like, it always has this white thing and it's really stiff. Like, I don't know if this is going to affect 
um, me washing it off hopefully the hair doesn't like start falling out I've had this on for about 48 hours um, I wanted to do the water test after 24 hours but y'all a girl got busy okay and a girl had to wear her wig out it is what it is. <laughs> but I will be doing the water test today later today trying to see if this will come off it's still a little bit fresh it's just I hate the application it's making me look like I don't know what I'm doing and girl I know what I'm doing it will last it will last especially if you use more than one layer the glue will last it's just like I don't like how it's looking and hopefully it stays on because after all of this all of this it better stay on because we will have to call my lawyers Hey guys, so I'm gonna go in the shower and try to get this off. Let's see if it lasts um, in a water test. So far, I have been wearing this wig now for about three days and right here started lifting. I guess I didn't glue it down properly, um, but everything else is pretty good. It's on there. It's like, it's pretty good, pretty good. It's just this part, it was so sad, but I am going to step in my shower and see if this bad boy can last. Y'all know I gotta do it this way because I don't have a pool and I can't go to a sauna right now because all the gyms are closed still. But water is water. So it makes the same difference, I guess. So let's see if this wig will come off. I'm hoping it does because, you know, the formula is a little bit different as I told you guys last time. I'm not really feeling it, but let's see if it will actually last during a water test. Actually guys, this is like the most gross feeling ever, you know, wetting my hair with my real hair under it. Um, I don't know how girls swim with a ball cap and all that. It's the most disgusting feeling. I just can't. So far, it's still on there. It's going pretty nice. Um, what I've been seeing is a lot of people who do like the water test, I don't feel like they're giving like a great water test review. Like, I mean like when they go in the pool and stuff. Not like at home. When they go in their pools, I feel like they're just diving in and then coming out. Like, I'm gonna need to see you dive in and stay in for a minute because if I'm gonna dive into a pool with my wig on, best believe it's not gonna be a one minute dive and that's it. Like, I'm gonna be in the pool all day playing. So you need to show me if this wig can last for a cool little hour, you know? Still on there. This part is up as you guys know before. But so far it's still on there. I'm, I'm not feeling it move or tugging or anything. Um, one thing you guys do know, I don't like doing the ball cap method. So I did not do the ball cap method for this application. But the ball cap method does amplify anything you do. So if you do it with any of the glues, it will actually last a, a little bit longer. It will be stronger because you have another layer that's thick and all that good stuff, you know about 20 layers of glue because you just hate your edges but for me i can't i won't do that to myself <laughs> i already don't have any edges do y'all want me to walk out here looking like my hairline my hairline starts back here no honey i've been in here so far for about four minutes i've been in the shower for about four minutes all right um not lifting, nothing so far. Um, <laughs> please don't be held to move. Y'all, so far it's not coming off. All right, y'all. I have been in here for about five minutes and it feels like it's not budging, like the water is not affecting this at all. I don't know if it's because of the latex that's in the glue, but as you guys know, this part is lifting and I'm trying to play with this part and y'all, it's connected to some of my hair and it's not moving either. I'm trying to use some force to get my hair off of it. Okay, I got some of my hair off of it. I'm trying to see if this is going to lift right now. 
Okay, as you guys can see, I am pulling. It's like slowly moving, but not really. Y'all, I don't know if it's the latex in this glue, because it is a different formula from all the other glues I've tried. But so far, the wig isn't budging. I mean, <laughs> imagine if I did the ball cap. Ah, I'd be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna give this 15 minutes. If this does not come off in 15 minutes, this has to be the ultimate waterproof glue. I'm sorry for you guys who are allergic to latex. I know y'all are watching like... Wow. Oh, wow. But... <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because I really hate how it, the glue applies, but right now it's literally living. It literally woke up and said, my turn. I don't want y'all to think I'm joking right now. Like, you guys, okay, this came off before I came in the shower. I am pulling. I am pulling. My eyebrows are, is move, my eyebrows are like literally moving with it. Like, I'm no gas. I'm not playing with you guys. I really want this to come off because I have real hair under here and I need to cater to her. Um... Right here, everything's still on. I'm pulling the other glues by now, it would have started like you know, softening up, and I couldn't like rip it up. But I mean, <laughs> I kid you not, <laughs> what in the hell is in this glue? I know it has latex in it, but what else? We need to talk because <laughs> at this point. This glue is coming in clutch. And the only downside so far, as you guys know, I bought the glue, it came half filled. So we already know that they're messing up on their production side, their manufacturing side. I don't know why my full bottle came halfway filled. That's an issue, you guys need to fix that in product, whatever y'all are doing, fix that, because you shouldn't be paying so much for a glue and then basically double the price on shipping and then, you get half a product. Not on my watch. I don't like when the glue is like showing through the lace and it looks all sticky. Maybe it's the way I applied it. I will be applying it one more time in the future to see. But y'all, <laughs> I might have to go swimming with this way, with this glue. I might have to do it for my birthday. I might have to do it. So I might have to. Guys, I just turned up the heat in my shower. Maybe the heat will help to soften the glue. So let's see, let's see. I just turned it up. Ooh, it's feeling toasty. All right. Right here is softening up slowly, but it's because I'm pulling really hard. Ow. All right, so this part is, as you guys can see, there's some hair like stringy. Y'all, this glue is legit. I think, I think the, in a water test, this glue won. So far because insta glue came off already yeah it came off already but in where and like how it really lays i think the other glues won they took the cake for layage because i don't like how latex lays my waist i don't know if that's it i don't like how tacky it is how sticky it is but so far on water says they weren't lying when they said best waterproof glue they weren't lying they weren't i'm gonna keep going Okay, been about 15 minutes. I've come to the conclusion that this is the glue you get when you're really oily and sweaty. And you need to use about three layers. If you're doing the ball cap, maybe five, because it's not going anywhere. I mean, I've been in here for a cool 15, 16 minutes. I, I'll be cutting it up so it won't seem that long because I'm not going to have you guys sit here for 15 minutes. But it's been 15, 16 minutes. I'm looking on my camera and it's not coming out. 
<laughs> I'm gonna pull really hard though, guys. I don't wanna rip my edges out, but we need to get somewhere. Ow. All right, that hurts. It's like connected to my hair, my little edging. Okay, y'all see this? Look, it's like connected, it hurts. Jade, it's so funny how we were supposed to work out. Jade, please help me. 17 minutes and it's not coming off. Ow, that hurts. All right, is it coming up? Show them on camera. I literally have to, oh wait, let me try to zoom in. All right. My sister's I, helping me, guys. It's been 17 minutes and 30 seconds, so I need help. I literally have to hold down on her skin. It's not even showing. Okay. I have to hold down on her skin and literally pull. Ow, that hurts. So it's not coming off at all? It, Johnny, I was pulling it. It wasn't coming off. I'm letting it do its thing. You know, so it's, we're not working out. <clears throat> ow, 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 ow. That hurts. Ooh, not right there, not right there. On the other side. <laughs> okay. The glue is breaking down on this side, but when it gets to my hair, it really hurts, guys. Okay, okay. This is an Isha. Yeah, just, just spray it, just spray it. Even underneath the lace that's lifting. Okay, guys, we're going, with a, going in with a random wig um, remover, glue remover. I don't have the one for Go Glue. I'm using the Isha one that I have. It should help to loosen the glue. It should be coming off any minute now. If, like, cause I know the removers work really well. Cause my hair is like hurting. Okay. Okay, oh, wow! See, you see Isha is good. I swear. It like, literally just like is repealing. You guys really need a, a, a glue remover. Oh if my you, god. If you don't have one, get one because it really helps. It breaks down any glue, I'm telling you. I don't know what's in it. Thanks, Jade. Oh, baby. Oh, thanks. Oh, good. Thanks, Jade. All right, guys. So I'm going to give a quick summary right now. As you guys know, I've been talking this whole time. Guys, that glue was basically no joke. I would recommend if you're going to go under the water, you know, a cool little 15 to 30 minutes. I wouldn't say do like too much, like hours in it. Um, but if you're going to do like 15 to 30 minutes and you really want to go in the water and you want to try that glue, please don't be allergic to latex. And I would advise using the ball cap if you can because it does help any glue to last longer. It does. And that's why a lot of companies, they're like, use do the ball cap. I just don't like it. But I didn't do the ball cap and it wouldn't come off. So imagine if you did the ball cap boo. So I'm saying give it, give it a try if you want to do that. Or if you're oily and sweaty and you're going to a nice event or a party and you don't want your wigs to start lifting, I would recommend using the goat glue. I personally love it for the water, but I don't like how it looks on application. So guys, that was my water test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very hard. If I did not use the remover, it probably wouldn't have come off for another like 10 minutes. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it.